What's up guys and welcome to our second week of What's Up Wednesdays. I'm not counting that first one that we did because it wasn't branded yet. So this is week two. Uh, so what are we discussing today? Uh, we, we don't really have too much really, just a couple of small key things and some updates for the channel like, like usual. So uh, I recently released both the headlight videos, one for just using the basic buffer and polisher to clear up some of the oxidation. It doesn't actually remove the oxidation issue, but it does help make it a lot better. And then we also have the one that goes through the full process for sanding, buffing, polishing, and everything makes it look brand new, just like you would expect it to see. Uh, amazingly, both of those videos are, are doing fairly well for the channel, but my first video, my ceramic coating one, where I'm not wearing any shoes, uh, anyway, I was doing better, so I still have a, a way to go to make that uh, you know, notably better for us. But I will actually be releasing two more videos in the upcoming future. Uh, regarding headlights, I just have to find someone who has uh, some pretty oxidized headlights that can be that can use their car as a good candidate. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 3M polishing headlight restoration kit and do two videos. One where I'm using the drill just as it recommends, showing the process. And then also one where I use my dual action polisher using what comes in that kit to make it better. Uh, I expect the results will be notably better with the dual action polisher, but I've never actually tried this, so it'll be something new for, for me to do and should be a good experience for you guys too. Uh, let's see, I, I've just got a list of things here to kind of make sure I go over. Oh, uh, I, I know last week I'd mentioned that I was going to do a product comparison video. I did actually record that last week. Uh, I was still going through processing, editing for it. That should be up for Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, I'll say I'm not too terribly pleased with how the video came out. I, uh, I made a couple of rookie mistakes. For example, I don't follow my own advice. You know, I, I tell you guys, make sure you always grab a, a new clean cloth whenever it comes to doing anything. Well, I was trying to skip a few steps and, and not have to use, you know, a thousand cloths for a four product review. And I use the same one. I've got some, some product hazing that occurred or product uh, disbursement. So pretty much where the cloth will pick up excess polish or excess compound and spreads over the panel. It's it's a pain. You're going to see me struggle with it in the video because I was being lazy. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It doesn't actually affect anything. It's just, it's just more work. I'll also be moving away from the Meguiar's microfiber cutting uh, pads I've been using and, and polishing pads. Not that there's anything wrong with them. There's still some of my favorite pads to use. I just like to try out new products from time to time. Uh, a while back, I bought some of Chemical, Chemical Guys' uh, Hexologic pads. The orange cutting pad, the white polishing pad, and then the just black wax applicator pad. I just want to try them out, see how they work. If I like them, I'll invest in a few more of them and start to use them a little bit more on the channel. Um, you know, the microfiber pads are still going to be used quite a bit. It's just, I want to try out new things. So that's kind of what this channel is for me. It's a, an opportunity to try out new things that I haven't tried and also give my, you know, my thoughts, my experiences with them. So that way you guys, you know, don't have to spend your money on something if it's not quality. Uh, let's see, just trying to make sure what else I have. Uh, I, I do still have the list of videos that I mentioned with last week. I, I just kind of keep a, an Excel sheet for everything I'm mentioning, so that way I don't forget to, to bring it to you guys in case you know that's something you guys want to see. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll get to those. A lot of it is you know having to buy the stuff to do them, or finding a vehicle that can actually try things out on because I don't uh, I don't necessarily have cars that have tire blooming or have tire issues, so I can't do it to my own car because it's not going to mean anything to you guys if you something that's applied to an already clean, fresh tire. Uh, the, the yellow bike in the background of my videos, I've had a couple of people just that I work with ask me about it because most of my subscriber base is either friends, family, or coworkers. <laughs> uh, that is a 2007 Daytona Triumph uh, 675. And while it looks good from the side that you guys see, it is heavily damaged on the, on the right side. Uh, pretty much a friend of mine owned the bike. He went down on it twice. It's extremely damaged. And that's actually going to be a pretty lengthy uh, set of videos I'll be doing on actually repairing and restoring that bike to get it you know, completely drivable, looking hopefully brand new again. Uh, the biggest thing stopping that right now is finances because it's going to cost quite a bit to actually do that. So as things get better, you know, we'll, we'll start to move on and, and start to do some videos for that. But it is going to be a lengthy process, probably, if I had to guess, 10 to 15 videos. Um, normally, I, I wouldn't even bother restoring that bike because it's not worth it. I mean, resale value on it's probably gonna be fifteen hundred, two thousand. It's gonna cost me the better part of a grand just to fix it. So, but I figure you guys probably like to see how someone goes about assessing damage after a wreck like that, seeing what all goes into restoring a bike, getting it taken care of again, and getting it fully roadworthy. So, 
you know, I'll do it. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a money pit, but that's fine. That's, uh, that's part of what having projects is for, right? Just to have some fun with it. And then uh, I do have one negative thing that I have to discuss, and that's, uh, that pertains to all the links that you see in my videos. So when I started the channel, I decided, hey, if I'm gonna be using products, using different things, I wanna make sure that my viewers are able to have access to those products. And I did that through Amazon affiliate links. Well, Amazon actually emailed me, uh, what was it, yesterday or the day before saying, hey, your channel's not big enough to, to be an affiliate with us, so we're closing that account for now. You can reapply once you have 500 subscribers. So it's gonna be a while before I can do that. Um, you know, that, that does put a little bit of a hit to the channel because I have had some success with that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind just, you know, liking videos, sharing them out to your friends, asking them to, to subscribe, it'll help us get back to being able to do that again in the near future. Also, put product links, they just won't be affiliate links for me anymore. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, the other thing is the, the positive thing, uh, a brighter note. So, right now I'm at like 45-ish subscribers. We'll, we'll see what it's at whenever this video comes out on uh, at 4 p.m. But once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a small giveaway. It won't be anything fancy, anything great. It's just going to be uh, some some of my polishing stuff that I, that I like to use, that I've reviewed on the channel, so that way you guys will know it's a, a trusted product. And I just want to give that out to one of my subscribers, you know, just as a, as a thank you for being part of the channel and helping me grow. Uh, the way that I'm going to do that is just a small video explaining what the product is, how it works, um, and then pretty much if you comment on the video, you'll be entered into the giveaway, and then a week later I'll I'll find a way to do a random uh, your random selection because I don't know how all that works with YouTube, and uh, and pick one person and you know go from there. I'm, I'm sure there are plenty of applications or something that will go through the comments, just grab a random person, that or I can export it all to a spreadsheet and, and do it that way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the main thing is it will be completely random. There won't be any any bias in it. I'll just have to find a way to do that and make sure it is completely random. But that's coming up at the at the 100 subscriber mark. I'll put the video out and then you know one person will get that sent out to them completely free. But that's really all I've got for this What's Up Wednesday. As I said there wasn't too much to really touch upon just the, uh, the Amazon issue and the, you know, the giveaway that's coming up soon. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys like the content that's coming out, make sure to like, leave me any comments you've got, any feedback. I always love to, to hear what you guys have to say. And it always helps out the channel to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you stay up to date with new content as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.